All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It is not a warm afternoon. It's been pretty good already. So uh, got a chance of rain coming up, but we're not going to let that rain on her parade coming up. This fantastic lady has been doing things. She's been all over the place. She's the hardest working woman in San Antonio. Good afternoon, Sharon Bell Moses. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So uh, I like what's happening in San Antonio. So what's happening in San Antonio? What, what, what's the word? What's the word today? Oh, everything is happening in San Antonio. Ron, I have just been meeting some of the greatest people in San Antonio. Every week I get to meet somebody new and I'm just loving it. Um, I'm going to skip around and jump around some, but... Um, I just met these two lovely ladies at Luna's the other night, Marsha, 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 and her beautiful sister, Renee. I mean, um, I'm sitting up there jamming. I'm listening to MFS, Music for Your Soul. They did such a great job. And um, uh, Tara and Janine, I mean, Ty, they just sang their butts out. The guys and the uh, playing their instruments, everybody just jammed. Uh, Duke got up and sang a song. He always just turns it out with his wonderful voice. Um, but anyway, it was such a great show. And um, be sure all and I and smooth and we're just sitting there chilling. Uh, M. Sachs was there. It's always great to see him. And so uh, two ladies walked in and sat at the table next to me. Now I'm looking at the stage, listening to all this great singing, but I hear some great singing coming from over here, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> what the what? You know, and turn the, turn the camera around. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh, she and her sister uh, were sitting next to me and Marsha has a beautiful voice. I tried to see if the sister could sing also, but she said no. <laughs> So I told her, welcome to the club. She can be a professional clapper like I am. <laughs> but anyway, I heard uh, Marsha's uh, voice sitting next to me, and uh, it's a beautiful voice. Uh, she told me, I think that they're from the Dallas area, but she will be back in this area in October. And so we're going to try and get her up on stage uh, because everybody needs to experience her beautiful voice. Yeah. And um she was, I went to one of her videos on Facebook and I think I reposted it and uh, OMG, her voice is just beautiful. Wow. So anyway, I will let you know when they come back to town. And so you can, I know you want to meet them and you're going to give them a hard time, but I think these two ladies can handle you. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. I think these two ladies can handle you. And th their personalities, I just felt like I've been knowing them all my life. And so I can't wait till they come back and we get to uh, get to uh, hang out a little bit more. Now, not only was I uh, really happy meeting them, uh, V. Cheryl and I and... Uh, our little sister, Laquita, we went to Austin. Just, we finally made it to see uh, my play brother, uh, Junior Ham Lawrence Hammonds. We called him Junior. We grew up uh, as kids on the West Side together. And, I, you know, I've been telling you probably a couple of years now that I'm going to get down there. Right. It just so happened to be his birthday. Mm. Can you imagine when I found out it was his birthday? I'm like, no, B, we got to go today. And so uh, both of my girls said, okay, we'll ride with you. And so we hopped in the car and headed on down there. I mean, the blue specialist has been at uh, the Continental Club for 36 years. Wow. I'm like, for anybody to be somewhere that long, their love there. The, the audience just loved them. Everybody's up dancing. Uh, they jammed. I mean, they really jammed. I got up and went and took my uh, pictures. Uh, well, I videoed his hands on the keyboard. Boy, he got happy and went to church on that organ. And I'm <laughs> like, oh my goodness. And so they really sang and played their instruments very well. I told them that uh, I need to get them to San Antonio so they can meet you. And they were like, oh yeah, we're ready. We're ready. And so um they're a bunch of fun, and so I can't wait uh, till you get to meet them. And one of them, um, I believe he said he had some original music. And so um, 
I told him Ron G is the CEO and he can make it happen. Uh -oh. And so they want to get down here and talk to you. Now, let me tell you who the band members are. Uh, my friend that I grew up with, uh, Lawrence Hammonds, uh, he plays the Hammond B3 organ. Uh, let's see here. Mel Davis plays the sax and the harmonica. He also sings. Uh, Mr. B is on the drums. He tore those drums up also. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Rob Richardson, uh, he's a singer and also lead guitar. James Lott, bass guitar. Uh, did I get everybody? I believe I did. And I mean, they put on a great show. The audience was up dancing the whole night. Uh, it was a nice little getaway, a nice little ride. Uh, it was a lot of construction, so it made us get there a little late, but uh, we enjoyed what we did get to see and told him that we will be back. So, oh, guys, okay. we will be back. So how, okay. how, how often are they playing there? They're every Friday night. Every Friday night? Then, you every know, Friday you know, that, night. That reminds me of Vegas. They get some of the artists, they out there for years. And so and they got a little mini Vegas going there in um in Austin. That's what it is. And when they finished, another band was about to come on, but we had to rush back to San Antonio. But, uh, oh, wow, it was such a great show. So, fellas, thanks for all the uh, great entertainment that night. All right. Now, what else did I do this week? I went to uh, Santa's uh, with Karaoke Dee Dee and her husband, Eddie, and uh, Santa... Santa made some kind of a cake. Mm. Uh, it was just wonderful. Uh, that man, not only can he fry the chicken, the pork chop, the fish, and make all those great sides, and I love his dressing, but he got in there and baked. Now, he was passing out cake, and I'm like, oh, thank you, Santa. And so that was an early Christmas present. Mm -hmm. uh, we had such a great time, karaoke. Uh, my friend Iris Forsey, he got up again and sang, and he's looking for Terry. We got to get Terry and <laughs> Faye to come back so I can get them to do yeah. it. would be nice to see them do a duet. Uh, Cherokees, y'all. <laughs> All right, now. Iris has a beautiful voice, and so he got up and sang. And so, Terry, we're looking for you. Uh, oh, my girl, uh, Cynthia. Cynthia Collins was there. And uh, she says that she watches us all the time. So hi, Cynthia. And go and subscribe. Uh, tell tell her what to subscribe to, Ron. Oh, yeah. There's several things to subscribe to. One of them is um, Texas in Color. It's a new show that we're doing about the politicians in, um, in Texas. Go subscribe to that and like it. Also, subscribe to WSAN Radio SA YouTube channel. That's where you can catch all the sharing shows there. So it, when we get finished, I make sure I upload it. And uh, last week, that was uploaded. No, you know what happened last week, though, don't you? You said the system went down or something? There was no internet in San Antonio. Anybody has spectrum. It was out from 1230 in the afternoon to 730 at night. I end up airing your show the next day at 10 o'clock. Okay. Oh, but that was you know what crazy. Happened? It wasn't anything to do with the storm down yeah. in Yeah, that's, that's what they're blaming it on. They don't know that, but it wiped out every everything. So we were without internet. I couldn't broadcast any. So I just said, okay. Uh, but you know, but on the safe side, um, the um, my other offline server took over. It was playing music because I, I put music on that server. So if something never happens at my office at the house or at the office across town. That server picks up and start playing music. Oh, that's wonderful! Now, um, what was it Saturday when I went to Luna's? I had in mind to go to two other places, but ran out of time. I was going to go see Deb Soul. And uh, when she got through with her show, she came over to Luna's. Uh, so I was able to get a good hug from her. And so, uh, oh, last night we went to go see her um, at Nairobi. And man, oh man, did she put on a, a great show at Nairobi. And... Um, Let's see here. Oh, and let me see here. Saturday night, Deb had a show then. 
uh, I think it was at Kitty Hawk. And then at Horizons and More, there were a bunch, a bunch of birthday parties that I was planning on going to. Uh, there was uh, Ken Collins from Experience. There was Flawless. Uh, that girl can really sing, and she is just beautiful and wears some just wonderful outfits. It was cowboy night, so everybody was dressed up with their cowboy hats. Right. I went to Horizons when I left Luna's, but that parking lot said no. <laughs> It was packed, wasn't it? Yes. So they were inside having a bunch of fun without me. But anyway, I, I was trying to stop in and get my hugs from all the birthday people. And it was someone named Kenan, I believe, is the other, the fourth person that was having a birthday party. So anyway, happy birthday to all. Of, oh, Brennan, not Kenan. Brennan, I'm sorry. So Ken, Brennan, Stephen, and Flawless, happy birthday to you guys. And I know you had a ball because that parking lot said you had a ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Toya, everybody just packs the house uh, dealing with Horizons and more. Okay, now uh, this coming uh, Friday at the American Legion, the next episode is going to be there. Um, let's see here. Now, in this band, there's Marlon, uh, Lionel, Terry, Jerry, Steve, and they're featuring Lady Love, Janine, and Queen V, our girl V. Cheryl. Oh, okay. okay, so uh, at the American Life, hey, I'm going to miss it. Somebody better tape it for me. So anyway, uh, at the American Legion on MLK. And uh, so that should start, uh, I believe it's like eight, seven o'clock, I think usually they start early. I told her to don't do anything when I go out of town. I'm leaving, uh, <laughs> I'm leaving to go to uh, Vegas and uh, LA and Palm Springs for a week. So uh, y'all hold down the fort and uh, film some stuff for me because I'll be filming uh, where I'm going. So everybody can see. I'm going to try and uh oh Gary Blow, remember I told That's you he's right. going to That's be right. at Redondo Beach. And so Gary, I'm coming your way so I can hear some good blues. There so that's, that's what my plan is. Okay, so I believe that's all I did for this week, but let me tell you some things that are coming up. Okay, now uh the, the, the Rosedale Park. Pavilion. They're having a reggae festival July 27th. Uh, children 12 and under are free. Event time is 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, they will have vendors. They will have food trucks, food booths, beer booths, face painting, and children's playground. Beer booth. And beer booth. Uh -huh, beer booth. Oh. <laughs> Like and so um, this this is the reggae festival from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. So that sounds like a bunch of fun. Hopefully you guys will have great weather for that. Yeah. All right, then uh, there is a jazz festival at uh, the Old Crossroads Mall. It's called Wonderland of America Mall now. And uh, that's going to be this Friday, the 19th of July. Uh, free parking. Nina and the Gypsies will open at 7.30. At 9 o'clock, uh, Blake Aaron, Aaron Stevens, and Will Donato uh, will be performing. And this is the 30th anniversary, 30th uh, jazz anniversary, Balcones Heights Jazz Festival. Wonderland of America Mall. Bring your lawn chairs. And there will be food trucks there. If you need more information, 210-957-2992. That is always, an, if you get there early enough and, and, and get your chair going downhill, but there's places on the side, there's a good view all the way around over there. And um, the last time me and my wife went, we got a spot and it was, we thought it was a bad spot, but it was an excellent spot where we were at. So uh, we got a little side view, not really full, but it was yeah. was able to see everything in. And I love going down. I'm I don't know why they have it one day. I guess they're cutting back now. Yeah, it should be at least two days, if not three. Yeah. 
Now, I've heard that there's a very nice uh, jazz festival down in Corpus Christi. I can't wait to go check that out uh, one year. Mm -hmm. um, can you imagine, especially if it's right on the beach, that would be very nice. And you, know, you can get a good breeze. Yeah, you know, in Galveston, when we went down there a couple of times, there's the out-of-the-way places, and they have jazz there, too. Another place to go to is Kima. Oh, I love Kima. Yeah, yeah, that's another place to go to is Kima. And, and Kima in Galveston, yes. Right. They have the uh, rides for the children, because I'm definitely not getting on any <laughs> rides. Uh, they have the train ride. I'll do that. But uh, it's not, oh, the restaurants, the food, oh, my goodness, it's so good. So, you guys, if you're in the Houston, Galveston area, go check out Kima. Very nice place to go and hang out for the day. Right now, uh, everybody, we were excited because we got a good park. And the reason why, because it was 100 degrees, everybody mm -hmm. didn't come till like 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, we learned our lesson. It got crowded around 8 o'clock. It, it got the lights that light up the pier and everything. You can walk all around it. And I, I always brag. I say they catch the, the, the food right out the doggone gulf. <laughs> that fish and all that. So they be doing good down there. It was so, so fresh, so fresh. Yeah. And they even have a hotel right there on the premises. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, you can get up and just walk around and go to your room and don't have to worry about parking and everything. Very, very nice. But just, just look out, um, plan your trip accordingly because that hurricane went through there. The last one, Barrel went through there, but it didn't tear up too much down there. So, um, um, this is the um, summer we need to look out <laughs> because we don't know what's going to brew up out there in the Gulf of Mexico. That is so true. Okay, now we have a place called the D.O. Bar. It's 11804 Calabria Road, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., Monday night karaoke. Okay, so uh, they, they say to come out and join karaoke with Kinsey. So D-E-O-L bar number two on Calabra. So that's another place we can go check out. Then we have uh, Mellow Mondays, first and third Mondays. This is at Horizons and more. Uh, ballroom and stepping class. Each one, reach one, each one, bring one. Okay, so um, Toya, once again, she has something pretty much every night of the week. So check uh, the website uh, for Horizons and more, uh, for Luna's, for Midtown, Uptown, 78, and Nobles. Make sure you check all of those clubs because they have something going on um, two or three nights a week. Toya, every night. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know that uh, a Midtown got a new owner. Yes, Tony G and two yeah. other uh, young yeah. men. Yeah, they said they went in there right away and fixed them, then put something up and then start fixing it up right away. They did. The part that I saw was very nice, the patio area. So yeah. I can't wait to see what they're going to do on the inside. Okay, then Brass Monkey on Tuesdays. They have $2 night. Anything in the house. I, I I wonder what all they have in the house. <laughs> Go in there and pick up a lamp. I thought you said two dollars. Yeah, yeah, you say anything in the house. Get a, get arrested, right? Yeah, get so, arrested right away. I said, oh well, uh, what you call told me to do it? Who, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it says karaoke on the patio. Two dollars. Anything in the house? More than likely, it's going to be beer. But it would be nice if they had margaritas or some other specialty drink. All right, then uh, karaoke night every Tuesday at the Stout House. And KJ Mark Rivers uh, is the host. And this is 11911 Alamo Ranch. And they say that's where you want to be. So go do some karaoke out there. Then you know Horizons and more has karaoke on Tuesday nights. Uh, there's G Train, there's Giggles, there is Manny and uh, DJ Magic, Music Man, Music Man. Yeah, there you go. So yes, uh, go and check out Horizons and more on Tuesday nights also. All right, and uh, the Cigar Bar has been really hot lately. Uh, so, uh, if you like cigars, 
And uh, I think they have entertainment like uh, on Fridays or Saturday. Uh, go and check out the Cigar Bar. Where is that okay. place located I at? Mention, uh, well, where's, me? the, where's the Cigar Bar located at? It's far. Uh -oh, <laughs> I haven't been sorry. yet. Be careful with it. And she told me it's very far. Um, I think it's like out in the Sea World area or Lock and Terra area. Okay, let me look. Yeah, but it's uh, you far. You act like far. you act like you need a passport to get out there. <laughs> you do, especially at nighttime. For me, driving <laughs> at night, uh, I don't like to go too far. Not more than like fifteen minutes, but uh, that looks like an hour. I, I'm uh, I'm looking it up right now. So while you're problem. looking it up, let me say congratulations to Sean Bird, uh, to Dev Soul, to Billy Ray. And I think it was like three others. They won awards the other day for being the best in the in what they do. And uh, so Sean is just into everything. He plays every instrument. Uh, he's just a, a wonderful young man, my adoptive nephew. Uh, Dev Soul, once again, everybody knows Dev Soul. Uh, she won an award and Billy Ray. Everybody loves Billy Ray. So uh, hats off to you guys for being the best in your craft. That's nice to hear. Yes. They got several cigar bars in here. I don't know which one it is, but I'll find it. Okay. And uh, Ball Hogs was last weekend, right? Right, we got it coming up. Um, what it is it? Um, let me look at my deal. Right, I I need to get the information out on that early. Yes, yeah, uh, so everybody can up. make plans it's for the August. month of August. What is the first uh, Saturday? First Saturday in August. Yeah, in August. And and I enjoy going out there. Let me see. That will be August third. Okay. Because. If things go right, the round table will be coming back August 2nd. We haven't had it in, in several months, so I'm going to bring it back. I'm talking to people right now to be on the panel, so I'll find out by the end of this week. Hey, you let me know what the topic is. I might want, want in on that one. <laughs> let me know what the topic is. I, I, yeah. I think I have a couple of good topics to bring up. Um, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to mention my girl Cynthia from uh, Santa's uh, the other night. Um, every time I see her, she has a beautiful smile on her face. She's always dressed to the T. And so I told her that I was going to give her a shout out. So thank you once again. And go and subscribe to everything WSAN. <laughs> all right and then sam houston cherokees uh we have uh the all class reunion coming up july 26 27 and 28 go cherokees are you gonna be still uh, going yes i'm going oh i thought you're gonna still be i thought you're gonna still be in california no i'll get back just in time <laughs> uh let's see here so friday night the scholarship mixer is at well, it was at Midtown, but I think they moved it because they didn't know if it would be open or something. So it's at the American Legion. And then Saturday, the picnic fun day at the park. That's Comanche Park. And let's see here. That's starting from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on Sunday, the 28th, uh, they're going to church, Second Baptist, 1030 to 1 p.m. And I believe they said after church, they're heading to Luby's. And I think it's the Luby's that is downtown. Uh, so that's a full weekend. So that should be a whole lot of fun. Go Cherokees and Hurricanes. Um, Cherokees. Cherokees, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then my last two things, uh, save the date, September 21st. A Night of Elegance, Crimson, the Crimson Ball, 2024. A Night of Elegance, NBAC, Crimson Ball, September 21st from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. 
The event is by the New Brownsville's alumni chapter, Kappa Alpha Psi, Edward S. Jones and two others. Uh, let's see here. New Brownsville Civic Convention Center is where it's going to be. And it says it's $100. And you're, in, you're invited to experience a, a night of elegance with the New Brownsville's Texas alumni chapter hosting their first Crimson Ball. Room blog details are coming soon. Okay, and the last one I have is my brother, uh, Rayvon Foster, a.k.a. Les Foster. Uh, he is coming with Kyle Turner, the famous Kyle Turner, uh, Kai Hicks, and Tom, is it Tom Braxton. This is going to be a show that I'm looking forward to. The Strong Group presents Jazz and R&B Festival, October 12th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And this is going to be at the Hangar 9. Yes. one Inner Circle Drive, San Antonio, Texas, 78235. It's put on by the Strong Group. Anything the Strong Group puts on is usually fantastic. So I'm sure it's going to be great. The Strong Group usually has an all-white party. So okay. they'll probably be posting that pretty soon. All right, so everybody look for me to be posting from Las Vegas, L.A., and Palm mm -hmm. Springs. Las Vegas. For the next oh, week. Yeah, yeah one, one other thing, that um, Empowerment, How to Do Business Conference 2024 is taking place September 7th. Les Brown, the renowned international motivational speaker, be there, yes. along with Dr. Veronica Brooks. That's taking place Saturday, September 7th from 10 a.m., to 5 p.m. is at the True Vision Church Northeast Campus located at 2826 Ackerman Road, San Antonio, Texas. And we are still looking for sponsors and vendors. I'll be sending a letter out. Um, whoever subscribed to my newsletter on WSN Radio, I'm going to get that letter out either tonight or tomorrow because we are definitely um, need some more uh, sponsors in order for everything keeps on going. So that's going to be a great conference. If you have a business, we can help you out. If you're going to start a business, we can help you out. So it's a win-win situation. You, you just show up there. Oh, let me tell you about the early bird, tick, early bird tickets. They're still going for... They're $99, normally $150. And then the uh, VIP one, normally $350, is $199. And all vendors is $100. And the vendor spots are going pretty fast. So we had 20 spots for the vendors. So uh, we need to get in there and um, get it going. I I'm telling you, we, we need to uh, step it up. We don't want you to be left out. Okay. That's going to be a fantastic night. I can't wait to meet Les Brown, Mr. Yeah. Les Brown. The legend. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, all righty, young lady, we appreciate it. want to remind everybody to um, go to WSAN Radio SA YouTube page. We have over 240 interviews on that, and most of it's sharing. I don't know if it's bunch of sharing on there but if you want to catch up with some of the past interviews we had um please go visit wsan radio sa youtube page subscribe to the channel and like us all right okay <laughs> you have fun on your vacation like i did do you can send me stuff you know but um if you send me anything i'm gonna look at it. but you have fun young lady it's much deserved i will i'll have a blast because i have so many friends and relatives uh in uh vegas and in la so i'm going to have a blast and i love sharing it with all of you guys so yes i will have fun yeah but that's good Sharon, and be safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah be safe on top of that don't drink too many of those margaritas out there <laughs> <laughs> with a pretty little umbrella yeah all right you take care thank you have a good okay. day now all bye right, bye right. i'm back we signed off already and um for sure i'll send us something in here we want to get out to let everybody know this saturday rns right now society band will be at luna's 
Then the next following Saturday on the 27th be Tasha Jackson. She will be there. Then August 3rd is Miss Sags will be there. So did I say that right, Sags? I hope I did. For sure, don't beat me up. But these are some things that for sure is taking care of going on at Luna's. So make sure you get out to Luna's Lounge and let's check that out. It's right on San Pedro. So uh, let's get on that. Matter of fact, the address is 6740 San Pedro Avenue. So that's some of that late that came in that we heard, that we had to tag on to get it out. So y'all also know what's going on this weekend. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We we'll catch you next week.